Hi there, Rustin fans. I hopefully all the Rustin fans out there have a very Merry Christmas. Plus, I hopefully you have a very Happy New Year and a safe one also, if you have any major plans. Okay, now the topic I really want to discuss is about the road to WrestleMania. Of course, it's the first pay-per-view of the 2015 and there will be the Royal Rumble. I love the Royal Rumble. You know, a lot of great um, moments, a lot of great Rumble winners from the past and recently. So I'm looking forward to it. And in 2011, for the first time in Rumble history, they had a 40-man Royal Rumble. Now at first, it was a good idea, but on the other hand, it was a fail, because at the time, they should use NXT stars, but they didn't, but it's what it is, what it is, um, I wish they bring back the 40 man Royal Rumble this year, but they changed their mind, because they want to use ECW stars, former ECW stars, because it's the former home of ECW in Philadelphia, but I guess it fell through because all them guys are so damn old and they want to use younger guys. It makes sense. So, if that did not work, then use the NXT stars, but I guess they want to go in that direction they should because maybe some people don't watch NXT they just want to focus on WWE and they could see the that kind of brand but whatever um, I know a lot of rumors are flowing around they want Royal Reigns to win the whole damn thing you know win the Rumble and go all the way to WrestleMania and face Whoever the champion is probably most likely is going to be Barack Lesnar. But on the other hand, on the other rumors, they have mixed emotions on Ron Reigns because his mic skills just sucks ass. And these days, you, you need that in the ring. You have, have to have awesome mic skill plus you gotta have awesome wrestling skills and his wrestling skills suck ass and he was good with the shield but um, at a single computer that's a different story plus WWE wants to shove him down our throats that's part of his fault plus the creators it's the same thing what happened when John Cena was super hot you know, like popular or they want to use them every moment so that's what it is what it is and last year at the rumble he uh, ties Kane's record I think or broke the record on most eliminations so that was a good thing I guess I really wish he won the thing last year but it was Daniel Bryan's year so it didn't really make sense and <clears throat> But it really pissed me off last year. Instead of Dana Bryan was in the Rumble, they put Dan Batista in, and it was a total fail. He just it was there for the WrestleMania paycheck. You know, for the role of WrestleMania, I'm glad he was not part of it this year. I mean, I like um, Batista back in. Um, his younger days, but now, not so much. He's a better actor now, from my point of view. Um, now, let me get back with, about the Rumble again. On the other hand, um, what did I say about Roman Reigns? I don't think WWE is going to go in that direction. I think they're going to go with a different direction is Dolph Ziggler. Now, I'm okay with it, because what he did at Survivor Series... Of course, Stinger helped out. Um, I think that'd be perfect. 
you know, launch him to the main event status. Hopefully, they'll be let him stay on top this time. Who gives a shit if he did something stupid backstage? Everyone does some stupid backstage. Even probably John Cena, but they just want to keep a high shot because he's a pretty, pretty boy for WWE. But um, there's no one out there backstage is is perfect, and that is damn true. But I love Dolph Ziggler. He has awesome mic skills. He's very, very good in the ring. I love his finishing move. He's a current IC champion. But if he wins the Rumble, do you think he's going to drop it? Maybe, maybe not. Um, I don't know anyone from the past was IC champion and won the Rumble and went on to WrestleMania. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I can't keep track with Rumble history. Um, another guy I love to see it happen, Bray Wyatt for the first time. And Dean Ambrose, both guys are young guys, or maybe Seth Rollins, but I doubt Seth Rollins because he's Mr. Money Bank. I don't know when he's going to cash a damn thing in. Um, he should have done that a while ago, but he can't because the champion is never on damn pay or on Raw because that's part of his damn contract. But um, anything, hopefully, something big happens at the Rumble. Last year, the Rumble was a completely fail. Okay, it was donkey shit. I didn't care for it that much. Um, nothing really big happened. Um, but who else sh do I think could win the Rumble for 2015 to kick off the brand new W pay per view? Um, I don't know. Maybe The Miz. I freaking doubt it because he's in the Mick Carter um, division right now with Damien. I love that. Them guys, you know, they're stunned double. Um, maybe we'll see some returns. Maybe, like Sheamus. Like, he's not going to freaking win it. Come on now. Um, maybe the return of Rey Mysterio. I doubt it because I guess he's done with WWE. Um, I'm just looking at my Sacopedia for a cheating guide. Uh, maybe the return of Randy Orton. Do you want him to win it? No, I want a, a new guy. Fresh. Do you think WWE is going to go in the direction? I hopefully. I want Dolph Ziggler. Um, Dean Ambrose. Uh, or Bray Wyatt. Or maybe Bad News, Bad News Barrett. That'd be great. Um, I don't want no um, part-time wrestler win it. I don't mind him making an appearance at the Rumble, like Y2J or Corporal Kane or no, I don't know about Corporal Kane. He'd be in the damn Rumble, but probably get eliminated right back. Not so much. He's not gonna win it. But I want someone to make an impact at the Rumble. You know. Maybe one of the Usos, um, maybe Big Slow, nah. Um, I don't want no guy in there, you know, like no big guy. I want an underdog win it, like, like Daniel Bryan won the Rumble, not the Rumble, I'm sorry. It's kind of screwed up. Like Daniel Bryan won um, Mania last year, you know, he was the underdog the whole Road to WrestleMania. I, I want that kind of guy, you know. But well, Dolph Ziggler could be an underdog. That'd be kind of neat. Um, maybe Kofi Kingston would do another moment like he did in the past. I guarantee that he will. And after that, he'll get eliminated. Um, what else? I'm just trying to freaking cheat here. Maybe they have another diva and eliminate someone like. China did to someone and Beth Phoenix. I don't think so. Why do it the, for the third time in a row? Um, maybe we'll see some shocking returns or debuts. Maybe we'll see Stinger. And that will lead up a match between him and Triple H. Maybe. 
and maybe I don't know, that could anything happens, you know. That's on my bucket list though is going to the rumble in the future. Hopefully. Um I like to see some legends to make appearance. If the ECW legends won't make appearance, what what the hell? Make a WF or slash W legends make appearance for one night only. What the hell? You think Austin make appearance? Maybe, maybe not. People will go freaking nuts if that happened. I don't want to see Booker T in the Rumble again. I want no announcers. If that happens, I'll be very, very mad. What year was that recently? Was that 2013? Or well, Michael, with um, Jerry King Lawler and Booker T? That was freaking stupid from W. Very, very stupid. So, W, if you're watching this damn video, I want no announcers. And probably a lot of wrestling fans will agree with me on that one. Um, I want guys could actually use this spot. Um, I don't know who else could be in it. I have no clue. Um... Yeah, they'd be kind of cool, Dean Ambrose, or um, the guys I mentioned earlier in the video. That'd be great for me. Um, that Miz, hell no. no. I'm not a Miz fan. He's way overrated. Um, Mainly guys from SmackDown go in it. Doubt it. It's going to be guys they really want to push to main event status for Mania 31, you know? I like to see some holy shit moments. I like to see some guys kick out maybe Russo. No. In that case, he's got to drop the U.S. belt. He's got to drop the belt eventually. Maybe around Mania time. I heard rumors flowing on a while back. Um, him and Cena. If that happens, then Cena will be a mid Carter status. And I know he don't want that. He want to be the main eventer all the freaking time. So, um, I just got a couple guys. I think who's going to win the damn thing. Um, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, Team Rai Rai. Just kidding about that last one. I don't have no chance in hell to win the damn thing. Let me start over. Okay, Dean Ambrose, um, the Wyatt, the Wyatt. All the former members of the Wyatt family, I think, they have a good shot. Um, all the former members of the Shield, except Roman Reigns. Yeah, Roman Reigns can make it. Seth Rowan, no, but he missed through money bank. What the hell? Put him in there. What the hell in there? He's gonna use a briefcase as a freaking weapon. Probably could disqualify it. Fight anyway. And I like to see a shocking return of. Yes! 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 I heard reports that he's gonna retire. You cannot believe it until you see it. I think they wanna keep that sh hush hush. Um. I wanna see some returns. I wanna see Undergrad make an appearance at the Rumble, but I freaking doubt he's so damn old and decrypted. I like Undergrad. What the passion? He's an awesome dude. Um, maybe we'll see Santino be back at Rumble. We'd like to see that, my viewers. Hell no. Um, I think Christian Dunn, um, he's going to make an appearance at the Rumble. I think he's on his way out. He's going to probably be tired soon. Um, I'd like to see Kofi win it, you know? Call me crazy, but I don't know. I know he's part of that, the New Day. But this is my theory. One more time before I end this video on high note. I want uh, Dean Ambrose. Um, maybe Sheamus. What the hell. But he won it recently. Um, Bad News Barrett. He needs, I, he needs a win. To get back on topic, I know he just got back from injury. Maybe um, Jack Swagger. I'm not a really big fan of him, 
by no steel and breaches, so he needs an, another push. Or get, get some guys from NXT if none of the guys from WWE could cut the mustard. So put him in. I'll put the NXT champion in. What the hell? Because he's is great. I saw him on on the W Network, and that was a awesome match. Too bad his buddy turned him against him, and they're gonna have a great feud. So I wish some guys for NXT make an appearance at the Rumble, but you never know. You cannot really believe in rumors. You just gotta see it until you believe it, my wrestling fans. So my viewers, wrestling fans, if you had not seen my Royal Rumble moments, check it out. It's on my YouTube channel for crying out loud. Stop this damn video and click to that special podcast edition. Um, that's about it, really. I just hopefully this is be a good rumble. And I really hopefully people on Twitter to talk about this video, okay? I uh, want my viewers to like this, share it, share it again, like it, whatever, okay? Next month is the road, the first step for the road to WrestleMania. Hopefully it's a good one. And who do you think to win the 2015 Royal Rumble? Do you think? What people are saying about Dolph Ziggler, Roman Reigns, or other people that you have not heard in a while. Do you think Randy Orton? Do you think it will be John Cena again? Do you think it will be um, The Miz, um, Bad News Barrett? Do you think it will be some guys like some superstar from NXT or some return like maybe R V? D or just the current guys on the current roster or what? I love your f feedback down below. If you don't feel like saying something down below, or you could give me a video response. I don't give a darn, my viewers. But I'm gonna end this, and I uh, hopefully I did not talk very much. If I did, and I'm sorry, but I love discussing about the rumble. Um. Have a good one, my viewers, and I'll see you next wrestling video. Cheers, I'm just drinking water. Water is very good for you. Adios, my viewers, and take it easy. And have a happy new year, and, and stay safe. If you're going to party like a freaking rock star. Sayonara.